Yo, what's going on guys, Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another tutorial video. This is going to be another unofficial Vita port that just got released and it was a very awesome surprise for me because I was actually in my mind thinking if they would release a port of Galaxy on Fire 2 on the PlayStation Vita. This was one of my most favorite games and I could not finish it. It was with most of my Android games, but this one I could not finish it because I'm pretty sure I was playing, I don't know if there, there was a Java version of the game, but whatever the reason was, that cell phone of mine was stolen by someone. And I just had a bunch of good stuffs. I was making a tune of my own, my beloved cat who just passed away. And I had those pictures. Yeah, I, I hope whoever found, whoever stole it, I don't know. At this point, I just don't wish for anything else other than I hope you go through the same experience like I did at that moment, the emotional toll that I was going through. It's because of my of my cat. Um, anyways, all right, I'm just getting carried away. So Galaxy on Fire 2, really excited. Let's just get on with the tutorial. Make sure your PlayStation Vitas are jailbroken. If you want to know how to do that, please check out my description. You're going to find two different types of methods. Just take your pick and go through with the process. For those, the concurrent viewers, my subscribers, thank you all for your support. Appreciate it. You just can uh, just go and acquire the game files and install the damn game and enjoy some space exploration on your amazing handheld consoles. First time viewers, follow through the process. Please don't ask me how to or where to gather the game files from. It's not allowed on YouTube. If you want a tailored experience or like support, you can just join my Discord server and the rest you will understand. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to need to install a couple of plugins. I'm going to get to that in a bit. Make sure that you go to this link, download Galaxy on Fire version 1.vpk file and also pause your video at this moment. This is the version of the game that you need. Galaxy on Fire version 1.0.4. So you need the game version 1.0.4 in the APK format just like this. So it has to be on APK format and on version 1.0.4. So you're going to create a folder like this, GOF2, and then inside that folder, that's where you're going to keep the APK file. All right, after that, disconnect your PlayStation using Vita Shell and with the help of a USB cable. Why is this thing not working, man? What the fuck? All right, with the help of a USB cable, and then time to transfer these stuffs. First, we're going to transfer the game data. Look for the data folder in, in your PlayStation Vita's memory card. Just paste it over here. I already have it pasted GOF2, as you can see. After that, you're going to paste the VPK file. Just copy the VPK file and paste it to the root of your SD card. Or if you have a dedicated folder where you store your VPKs, this is where you're going to store it. There are two more homebrew apps that you need to install. First one is Auto Plugin 2, if you do not have it installed. and shark breed both of those homebrew apps have been provided in the description go ahead and download them right, so on vita shell just look for the gof2.vpk file just go ahead and install it by pressing x and following through the installation process additionally if you have to install those two other homebrew apps then go ahead and install those two as well after installing the vpk file just exit out of vita shell you're going to see the galaxy of fire bouncing on the screen we are not quite done yet subscribers go ahead and enjoy the game folks for new viewers let's just go through the steps auto plugin 2 that's the first homebrew app that you're going to start and we're going to install two essential plugins vita plugin install plugins first plugin that you're going to install would be QBridge by the official flow and the second it should be either FD fix by the official flow or repatch by dots TV so you install either one of them if you have both of those plugins installed they're going to overlap and you're going to experience crashes on these ports after installing those plugins restart your PlayStation Vita run shark breed shark breed it's going to download and install all the runtime packages and prerequisites that are required to run these ports exit out of shark breed and 
package installer all right time to start galaxy on fire 2 i'm on the configurator screen got some settings here fps lock it's unlocked uncapped patches hd textures to make the game look more crisp so i'm going to select physical and, and save and launch this was one impressive game considering android platform was at its preliminary stages you know they were still in the process of developing and stuff like that advancing so this game offered quite a lot of gameplay space exploration it has a nice story to it you get to do a lot of stuff like mining and stuff like that we have some voiceovers right now at this point you're gonna have to extract the minerals from the asteroid all you have to do is lock onto the asteroid and press x it's going to land automatically and then you're going to have to start with the extraction process you have to keep this spinning wheel this circle in the middle of this bigger circle until it becomes smaller and closes off so yeah. visit different space stations you can v visit different system while you progress through the story it's a very interesting game i really enjoyed it i enjoyed mass effect 1 in the trilogy more than the other mass effects even though the gameplay was a bit more stiffer than the other two games it was much more detailed and so yeah galaxy on fire 2 is one of my games that i one of the games that i really enjoyed if it's something that you enjoy or prefer there you go you have it now i just showed it to you if you enjoyed this tutorial you know what to do make sure to drop in a like and subscribe yeah i'm gonna see you guys on the next one dr brute 7 signing off peace